first on the Western Slope. You're watching KREX 5 News at 5. And thank you for joining us on this beautiful Friday evening. I'm Rob Hagan. And I'm Kyra Isaacs. We told you previously about an upcoming homeless assessment by local governments. Here at KREX, we've been exploring the causes and effects of homelessness, specifically in Grand Junction. That's right. KREX 5's Danny Condon talked with mental health professionals at Marillac who spend time with members of our unhoused population every single day. We serve all people. Mental health can be a touchy subject. The conversation gets even harder when it comes to our unhoused population, something Marillac Health's Director of Behavioral Health, Connie Mercer Cogburn, can attest to. You know, there's the stigma of, of being going to mental health services. Multiple roads lead to homelessness in America and by extension Grand Junction. A deeper question is why the homeless stay homeless. We hear their stories and it ranges from, you know, a severe medical condition that they ended up in extreme debt because of it. So they end up losing their housing. They end up, you know, homeless or it could be from um, mental health issues or addictions, whether it be drugs or alcohol. No matter the cause, Mercer Cogburn says all of the factors that lead a person to houselessness are connected. We kind of operate on a Maslow's hierarchy of needs. She's talking about the psychological theory divided into five needs a person must have fulfilled. Physical, safety, love and belonging, esteem, and self-actualization. Maslow's theory finds a person can't begin to address the needs of one tier until the needs of the tiers below are met. I would say on average we see probably 5 to 10 homeless um, a week. The vast majority of homeless people nationwide often can't even meet their basic physical needs, most not knowing where their next meal will come from or when. Marillac helps unhoused patients with everything from depression and anxiety to even more intense ailments like trauma and schizophrenia. They also address dental needs, helping self-esteem so much some people even rejoin the workforce. Having that access to health care could be for preventive care. It could be dealing with your chronic care. It could be getting the medications that are needed. It could be getting into mental health counseling or it could be getting into dental care. And since Marillac operates on a judgment-free ideology, they can even help people get clean if they're suffering from substance abuse. Marillac has their hands full, but luckily they have some help. We've been partnering with Grand Valley Catholic Outreach Day Center for almost 20 years now. Catholic Outreach helps the unhoused find food and shelter, addressing those hierarchy of needs. Marillac may not be directly tied to organizations like our food banks and city housing department, but in a way, they still help out. What are issues around food insecurity or transportation or housing or any of those things that can impact their health because it is all connected. The number of homeless patients Marillac sees every week is evident a large portion of our homeless population do want homes, a job, and to reclaim a place in society. The problem is homelessness is a nuanced and multi-tiered issue. Instead of ignoring a growing issue, Grand Junction's homeless needs assessment will wrap up July 21st, putting our city one step closer to finding viable and long-term solutions. First on the Western Slope, I'm Danny Condon, KREX 5 News.